When Samsung first revealed DeX, the desktop graphical interface that ships with the latest Galaxy series of smartphones and tablets, it showed a lot of promise. For the business power user, it offered one device for all your technology needs, a smartphone, a camera, and a computer, all in one. The amount of value that it offered as a do-it-all device was unrivaled. And unlike previous attempts from other manufacturers, it seemed like it was in a position to become the next best thing. So what happened to it? When Samsung announced the Galaxy S10 lineup, there wasn't even a mention of DeX. Even YouTube or other tech review sites had scarce information on it and it almost seemed as if Samsung completely forgot about its existence. Well, we got a chance to play with the S10e, Samsung's cheapest offering in its Galaxy smartphone lineup. And while we were genuinely excited to see the changes and updates to it, when it comes to DeX, it was an utter disappointment. Six months ago, we did a DeX review, and basically we said that there was a lot of potential, but a lot of work needed to be done to make DeX amazing. This included user interface tweaks, specifically around navigating the graphical interface, a large percentage of third-party applications not supporting Windows resizing, and of course, making more hardware compatible via Bluetooth or USB-A. If you want a more in-depth breakdown, take a look at our DeX review in 2018 right over here. The biggest problem that I have with DeX on the S10e is that it feels like the exact same piece of broken software. No changes were made and the same issues and nuances still exist. But not all is bad though, as it runs pretty smooth on the S10e. It seems like Samsung's cheapest offering in the Galaxy S10 lineup is more than capable of running as a portable computer. We had some initial issues setting up the keyboard and mouse that we used on our other DeX review, but we tried a different keyboard and mouse and everything works seamlessly. The unfortunate reality though, is that DeX had a great opportunity to shake up the mobile computing world, especially in a business setting. Just imagine being handed a smartphone that has literally everything you need to do your job. Not only does it make it easier for IT departments, but also for users who travel from place to place. Although the idea of carrying around a monitor, keyboard, and mouse seems kind of ridiculous. So what we would have loved to see this year is a laptop shell that can easily dock your Galaxy device for on-the-go computing. Remember the Motorola laptop dock for the Atrix? Yeah, something like that, but much better and more refined for 2019. This video was supposed to be a review of DeX for 2019, but we felt that was a waste of time, seeing as how there's not many changes or improvements to it. Again, we'll link our previous video on DeX in the description down below. And if you were thinking about getting a new Galaxy device mainly for DeX, you might want to hold off. If you absolutely want a device for DeX, we would suggest an older Galaxy device, such as the S9 or even the Note 9, as those are more than capable of running DeX without any performance issues. And of course, you can probably get it a lot cheaper than the latest S10 devices. Maybe in the future, Samsung will revamp DeX and put more resources into enticing third-party app developers, but for now, it just looks like another broken experiment. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it's been informative for you. If you don't mind, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button or the thumbs down and leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on DeX and our video in general. It gives us feedback so that we can make our content better for all of you. If you want to continue seeing stuff from us, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss it. Like always, I'm Jared the Tech Avenger. Don't forget, when it comes to tech, the Tech Avengers are there. We got your back.